Welcome to Fighting Stats, the ultimate channel for MMA fans who love statistics and betting breakdowns. I'm your host, Art C, and I'm here to get you ready for the upcoming UFC fights. In this series, I'll be watching tape and providing my real-time analysis on how I think the fights are going to go. I'll be watching for fighters' strengths, weaknesses, tendencies, and overall strategies, pairing that with Fighting Stats' exclusive UFC stats not available anywhere else to give you a prediction on how I think the fights are going to go and, ultimately, who's going to win. So, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Welcome to Fighting Stats. Welcome back to Fighting Stats. All right, we have arrived at the middleweight championship where Sean Strickland fights Israel Adesanya for the middleweight championship at UFC 293. Uh, so uh, Israel coming in with three inches of height and uh, four inches of reach. Uh, we saw in the last fight with Sean Strickland take on Abu Magomedov, finds a TKO. Uh, in the second round, and then all of a sudden now he gets a title shot against Israel Adesanya. So coming into the fight, uh, what we know about uh, St Sean Strickland, he likes to use the jab very heavy on the jab, one twos, one one twos sort of things. Not a lot of leg kicks, comes for a lot of heavy pressure, uses a Philly shell. Um, so the thought process, I think, coming into this fight was that Israel Adesanya with the inches of reach and height should be able to deal with that pressure, be able to uh, pick off uh, Strickland at a distance uh, and sort of have that experience in the striking exchange. So let's see if that uh, turns out to be true. I think that was the assumption coming in. Uh, Israel Adesanya minus 675 favorite in this fight, Sean Strickland plus 490. So uh, this is a five-round fight. This is a bigger cage than what Sean Strickland might be used to. I like the last two or three fights for Sean have been in the apex, uh, but now it is a big cage. Uh, so there we go. So main event one middleweight put two hundred and twenty thousand dollars at minus six seventy five for thirty two thousand dollar payout. Yeah, not the best of ideas, but uh, I get the premise. Who thought that Israel would uh, see? Well, well, let's see what happens. So Israel opens up orthodox, switches to southpaw, like we said. He's on the outside here. Throws a kick to the body. Sean Strickland coming forward. Looks like he sees that kick, ready to check it. L light lead leg, looking to check it. Now he's going to go to southpaw. Is Izzy? Oh, throws an inside kick for himself. Izzy going to the body. Very calm by Izzy. Very confident. Looks like. Uh, there was talks about maybe Israel uh, sort of look past Strickland. So let's see. Pawing at that lead foot there. Nice parry, I guess, from Strickland. Strickland loves that, uh, that Philly shell. And again, he's just trying to parry the shots as they come in. Uh, he's even reaching for the hooks when they come in. We've seen that a couple of times. Um, we saw Alex Pereira be able to land on him when he was able to get around the guard. Uh, so uh, Izzy doesn't have that type of power that um, Alex Pereira has. So interesting to see how he sort of deals with it. So so far, it's mostly Israel Adesanya throwing into blocks. Um, not a lot of damage from both sides. Uh, but Israel, uh, the more busier fighter, 90 seconds into this fight. Nice jab attempt misses from Sean. A jab from Israel in orthodox, changes back to southpaw. Back to orthodox. Outside low kick from Israel, nice lands. But no, Sean's not having any, it just walks his opponent down, let's get back. One, two, a little bit short for Sean on the return. Outside low kick from Izzy, misses. Goes to the body, caught the kick, lets it go. I don't think Strickland's looking to get this fight down to the ground. He hasn't in the last bunch of fights that we've watched. More opportunity when it happens, he might jump in, but uh, he, he hasn't actively looked for a takedown. And, and the, when the submission presented itself, uh, not his gut reaction either. So he's looking really for the KO.
Strickland biting on those uh, those feints a little bit, keeping those hands down. A couple of kicks from Sean. Outside low kick uh, from Izzy. A nice shot to the chest area from Izzy. A kick there. You figure Israel has all of these different weapons, these different kicks, able to switch senses, work the body, go high, lots of like question mark kicks. You know, it's so many tools in his bag. Where Sean Strickland is jab, one, two, or two, or double jab. Some combinations of one and twos, and you feel like Izzy's seen it already, but it's such a problem that he presents this forward pressure where now you're fighting on your back foot like this, trying to throw a kick, he's checking that kick. Uh, comes forward, lands at one two there. Now the there jab. He has him against the fence, right? So how do you deal with this distance? Jab holds the the right hand and lands a two by himself there. Now Sean's starting to land, and we're only in round one. Jab from Izzy. Nice outside low kick from Izzy. So Strickland able to see the jab, even though I think Israel has some fast hands. Um Strickland's still able to see it. 1 2, not close. Outside kick, checked. And I think, you know, against a guy like Israel, that's what you have to do for Sean. He has to make it dirty. He has to close the distance so that he's in striking range and not kicking range. Uh, you take away all those kicks from Israel, and then uh, now it's just a hand game. Couple of kicks here from Israel, backs up, 30 seconds left in round one. Now he's in striking distance, got caught. Here, uh, Sean Strickland's gonna throw a one, two. Looked like Izzy tried to counter with the left hook and he got caught opening up. Uh, tried to time it there, uh, Sean Strickland a little bit faster because again, he's throwing the two, one, two. That is something that he throws up the middle. So hard to counter him because again, he's gonna get there first, lands and drops Izzy in the first round. Follow up with some strikes here against the fence. Really going for it here. Lots of left hands. I don't know. He's holding on to the right side. Israel wants to say he's good. He's circling off. Now he's good. Some people would think that uh, Strickland would have punched himself out there. A lot of left hooks there. Um, but we'll see. Big knockdown from Israel. I assume that you're going to see a replay biggest moment of the fight one two yeah Op Israel opened up he, he started the one two combo when Israel had a high guard and he's just lucky that he opened it up bad timing from Israel he could have just absorbed it in the guard he let it drop and then he went for the three and then uh, Sean Strickland able to land oh wait 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 oh maybe that's Sean okay watch the slow-mo here so he throws the one Brittany Palmer uh, throws the one and as he's coming down, he drags Izzy's guard down. And then he throws the two up the middle. That's how he lands it. Israel, oh, yeah. Really slow motion of that. All right, round number two. Sean Strickland, Israel Adesanya, middleweight championship. Inside kick here, so uh, obviously a Strickland round for because of the knockout or sorry the knockdown. Uh, so Strickland's up one nothing. Wonder what the live line was after one round. You might get like close to even money, maybe probably minus two hundred, minus three hundred for Izzy still. I would think based on the pre-fight line, but who knows? Let's see if we we find out here. Uh, Izzy goes high with the kicks. Uh, Sean Strickland returns a kick. Strickland's still coming forward in this fight. Izzy trying to uh, circle out. 1-3 for Izzy blocked. Outside kick for Izzy blocked. Front kick, nice and block and land there. Jab misses for Strickland. Jab misses from Izzy. Jab misses from Izzy again. Blocked.
is uh, Strickland showing all of these knees, right? He's showing these kicks up the middle. He's like, look, uh, you want to kick me here? I got my knee here. I got my knee here. I'm going to check this. going to check that. So I think you got to set up a combo and end the combo with the leg kick. L naked leg kicks aren't going to work on, on, on Strickland there. Goes for a slap and then uh, a hook to the body from Israel. Another, there you go. So ends with a kick and Sean Strickland still able to check it. Trading a little couple of jabs there. Kick to the body from Israel. One, two from Israel doesn't really land. One, two again, a little bit short on. Remember, Israel has the reach advantage here, but uh, Strickland closing that distance. Israel's trying to fight at range. Nice block there from Strickland. One, one, pun. Nice jab from Strickland there, misses. Uh, Israel able to slip out of the way. Nice outside low kick from Israel, one, two. We saw that against uh, Alex Perr. That was the knockout punch, that one, two. Outside low kick again from Israel. Three minutes down into round two. There we go, uh, Israel minus 195. Sean Strickland plus 150 into round two. Strickland, uh, is he winning this round yet? It's a similar thing where Israel's more volume, more damage coming forward. Strickland, if he is landing, he's landing those jabs. Nice kicks from Israel. Another kick from Israel. Strickland still just coming forward. Doing Strickland things. Jab there from Strickland. Nice one two to the body. Outside low kick from Israel. Look like he got caught there, maybe. Israel starting to go to the body. Ooh, one two lands from Israel over the top. Let me see how he got there. One oh yeah, it was very quick. Very, 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 very quick. Run two, closes the distance here. Loads it up. So Strickland looking to block. Almost a fake of the one and then comes over the top of the two as Strickland again, his ha his left hand is down, uh, able to get the right hand home uh, there. So that's a tendency from uh, Sean Strickland to try to reach for the two. Always keeps his hand down and that's how you get uh, home with the right hand. So Israel seems to be winning this round. Landing some bigger shots, landing the cleaner shots, more shots, uh, everything from Israel so far. Jab from Sean Strickland misses. Jab to the body, one, two over the top, not able to land from Israel. One, two again, counter jab from Sean there, so moving backwards. Israel kick to the body. That lead leg a little bit red for Sean, but uh, one, two again from Sean Strickland there. I thought it was an easy round. Uh, I think it's 1 1. Uh, but yeah. Second round, that's two rounds down, 15 to go. So now it's a brand new three round fight. Uh, Sean Strickland, again, known for his cardio, able to push a pace. Uh, I think the later it goes, the more it favors Sean Strickland as well. Uh, that's going to be, I think, standard throughout all of Sean Strickland's fights. They are in Sydney, Australia for this one too. So it's in Israel's backyard. Nice block from Sean. Is 
leg kick checked from Ashan there. Another check kick there. Switches to southpaw for Israel. Inside kick from Israel, left hook there. Outside low kick from Israel. Kick to the body from Israel. So I'm still just walking forward, walking him down. Israel's a little bit more busy here. Well, he's been busy in round two and round three. Still high volume from Israel. A lot of these are partially blocked or blocked by Sean, uh, but still visually, Sean hasn't thrown anything, landed anything. It's just more Izzy throwing um, and Sean defending, right? Steps back there, doesn't throw anything on the break. One, one, two for Israel. Partially lands. One, two high kick from Israel goes to the low kick. Another two from Israel there. Outside kick again from Israel. Sean, a mix between checking them and eating them, uh, but still able to come forward. I think if anybody could beat up that front leg of, of, of Strickland, it would really change it. Uh, we can tell that he's not really comfortable in southpaw, and he puts a lot of weight on that lead leg. So uh, it is a key, I think, to beating him if he can pepper it, but he's very good at checking the kicks. Um, so it'd have to come from like a combo again, ending with that low kick. Uh, see there, Israel not able to put a lot of weight on that kick there. Strickland still coming forward halfway through the fight here. One, two, and then as he's reaching, Sean Strickland usually throws the right hook on the uh, counter as he's in close. Uh, we saw him, I think, drop Abus with that one, two, or sorry, with that three. Another outside kick from Israel. Israel, a lot of volume early, right? And Sean hasn't really done anything. So let's see how, if Sean picks up the pace here in round three, left hook from Sean lands. One one two lands from uh, Sean. One two there. See, Israel's leaning a little bit at the end of his two, and then Sean knows to throw the right hook when uh, Izzy leans to that uh, and leans to his left. So John Anik talking about maybe a late flurry from Strickland when he likes to come forward more in the end of the round, secure the round. So he lands a jab there. One minute left in round three. One, two. Oh, lands a left hook there as he eats that. Is he looking to lean back to that left that he does there? Playing with fire, is he? One, one, two misses. Again, Sean counters with that right hand. He knows that one, 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 two, and then Izzy's going to dip to his left. So then Sean is trying to counter with the right hook. Nice jab there from Southpaw, I think, from... Uh, from Sean it's forward pressure again is he trying to get some space lateral movement to circle off but Sean's just still in his face not moving away it looks like a sparring match just Sean seeing everything able to parry them as they come forward I thought that was a close round I thought it was 1-1 and then round 3 could have gone anywhere really
Look, no seat for Sean Strickland in between. Coaches telling him don't want a boring decision. I thought Asanya won that second round or that third round as well. Just busier uh, in the early stages. Sean really is, wasn't able to land much, but uh, I don't know. I, I have Izzy up two rounds, two to one. One from Jab, nice jab from Izzy. Remember, this fight is in uh, Australia, so you figure the home crowd may be uh, some advantage on the scorecards. Uh, but again, Sean Strickland has a history of this. Every fight we've seen is just, oh, we don't know. Every round is close. Um, here's not, not, not any different. But the, the difference is, I guess, Israel Anasani is a high-level striker, and Sean Strickland's making it close. Abu Magomedov is not really a, a, a high-level striker, but he made that close. You know, Jerry Cannonier, good striker again, and that was close. Um, he just has a way of making every fight, no matter who it is, close. Except for the uh, Alex Pereira. So a couple of these guys, Alan Martin, my buddy, 29-28 Strickland. So I had 29-28 Israel, but uh, a lot of Strickland's on the media scorecards there. Goes high. Now Strickland comes forward. Left hook there. Still Sean Strickland. That forward pressure is so deadly. It's like fighting in the phone booth. Trying to get a space to breathe. Just give me a, a breather here. Uh, but uh, Sean's just in his face walking him down. Oh. You get in close, and then Sean throws these big strikes here up against the fence. One, two for Sean Strickland. And I think what it is is that uh, you come against Sean, and, and the only way to beat Sean, because he throws only one twos, is that he's pretty defensively sound. His one twos are straight up the middle, so in order to beat him, you just have to have a faster one two. If you try to go hooks around his one two, you're going to get caught. Uh, we saw that against Izzy in the first round. Um, so I, if you can kick the legs, it might work. But uh, you have to really fool him with the guard to try to get around the guard. But uh, yeah, Izzy has to find a way. You figure he's pretty creative. 48 of 47. Oh, significant head strikes. 13 of 118. That's, that's crazy. A high-level decorated striker like Israel going 13 of 118 on head strikes. Round four, halfway through round four here. Sean Strickland still coming forward. One, two, three, four, three, four. Nice jab there through the guard for Sean. Another kick to the body. Hmm. Oh, a nice hand over the top. Right hand over the top from Israel. One, three. And the thing of how to beat Sean is you need bigger moments. Um, he's coming forward. He's landing these jabs, landing these one, two. The shots that you land have to be bigger than his so, uh, to give him credit because five rounds moving backwards, bad optics. You think, you know, you're on, the, you're on your bike for five rounds and Sean's coming forward, really not eating any shots. Uh, looks like Israel's trying to run away a little bit. Um, judges favor the forward aggression. Oh, goes to the body there, a little bit deflected. Outside kick from Israel, blocked. Israel's cardio still looks good. Four rounds are going backwards, but uh, Sean Strickland coming forward. A 1-4 from Sean now it's minus 166 for Sean uh, if they think he's up round 3 then he's definitely up round 4 and then that would make him up 3-1 going into 5th and then if Sean Strickland's up 3-1 you'd think he'd be like minus 500, minus 600 because uh, Israel not really known for a lot of punching power knockout power um that looked like a gift line, so 
Um, you just have to figure out the numbers. If you think that he's up uh, round three, he's definitely winning round four here. Um, then yeah, but if you give Israel round three, which I did, and I think it's 2-2, two, two, then maybe the value is on Israel going into round five. Hooks and crosses here from uh, Sean. There's a difference there. Front kick there. Israel gets his one minute breather. Pretty close fight again. Let's see some replays here. And that's a jab there. Lands a hook there on the counter there. Sean doesn't need the bench. Round number five. Israel's eyes a little bit puffy there. Yeah, it could be 3-1. Look at the live line here, minus 270. So uh, that's probably somewhere in the middle. Again, if Sean Strickland's up 3-1, he should be minus 500. And if he's 2-2, two, two, then Israel at uh, plus 240 is probably the side. But uh, So it's somewhere in the middle there. Yeah, worst case, it's 2-2. Two, two. But uh, so Israel has to know he has to win this round no matter what. He could be down and has to go for a finish. His corner should be telling him probably go for a finish. Um, yeah. Sean with the left hook. Still coming forward. One, two from Sean. Nice check there from Sean Strickland. Check the leg kick again. One, two, not able to get home. He just he keeps this guard up like this, where he's like, you can't get the two around it. You got to be straighter than him. You got to come up the middle. This push kick from uh, Sean. Outside kick from Izzy. kick from Sean again uh, Israel minus 700 in this fight uh, Sean Strickland I think was plus 400 plus 450 remember that guy that put a quarter million dollars on uh, Israel to win 30k or something like that he is sweating right now it's just the ability of Sean Strickland to make it a Sean Strickland fight I keep saying that over and over uh, even the best of them can't deal with the pressure and uh, it's not like Izzy has any takedowns so you know what is Izzy really to do here right um, okay, I'm just going to follow this one there Izzy trying to fake a little bit 1-2 inside kick from Israel there's a question mark kick. The jab from Southpaw, front kick. Two minutes left. Let's see what he reaches in, in his toy of bags. Bag of toys. Nice jab from Izzy. Sean Strickland still coming forward. Non-stop, relentless pressure. Now he's coming forward. Here's what we were talking about in that last fight, I think. Like, having the fight goes to decision versus the over four and a half. I think I'm going to play the over and a, like four and a half rather than fight goes. Every fight here, we've seen Sean Strickland within the last minute really come forward. Uh, and really blitz forward and uh, you don't want to be sitting here with a fight goes to decision at minus like 150 or 200 here and lose it within the last two minutes with Sean just saying let's go let's fight nice right hand from Sean Israel on the side again with that right hook anytime Israel dips to that left side Sean's looking for that right hook Nice right hook there. Sean's 
Sean Strickland, 20 seconds left. Come on. You see, he comes forward and he's hands down. Yeah. <laughs> it's a staple Sean Strickland fight. He says, come on, let's go. 12 seconds left. Let's go. You want it? Throwing your hands down. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta love Sean. Wow. Honestly, one of the uh, the bigger upsets in, in UFC history. Again, um, Israel minus 700. Nobody really gave Sean Strickland a chance. I know uh, if you did, leave a comment below. Let me know who you are. But uh, I was certainly on the Israel side here. I think I lost, uh, especially live betting. I think I hit Israel there. I thought he was up 2-2. Uh, definitely lost this round here as well. So worst case, it was 39-48-47. But I think they did 49 all three yeah look at Sean good win for Sean congrats to him uh, you know finally he's been at that doorstep for such a long time finally able to take a step forward throughout the door get the middleweight belt uh, so now he puts the middleweight belt on the line against another African, a fellow African in Drykus Duplessis. Uh, so we taped that side, the Drykus Duplessis side. We've taped this uh, Sean Strickland side in terms of how he made that run to uh, the UFC belt. Uh, tune in next time. I'm going to be doing a deep dive. I'm going to bring up some of the numbers, some of the stats. We'll get into it, and we'll see how this fight will play out. Uh, this fight, again, happening at UFC 297, I believe, uh, in Toronto, Ontario, Canada, for the first pay-per-view of 2024. You're not going to want to miss it. Stay tuned, like, and subscribe below. Again, my name is Art C, and this is Fighting Stats. Hope you enjoyed the show. Okay, guys, well, that is it for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, make sure you smash the like button, hit the subscribe, and you'll get notified anytime we put out new content. Again, my name is Art C. You can follow me on Twitter at, at Mr. Electrocute. This is Fighting Stats, the ultimate source for exclusive and in-depth MMA statistics and best bets. We'll see you guys at the window.